Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, I'm in Australia and I am in my craft room. Uh, it's going to be warm today but it's not too bad now. It's not too bad. It's going to be hot I should say, not warm. So, I'm actually demolishing the journal that I was making um, on that uh, Williams is doing a challenge put up to her by Diana, I think her name is, sorry if I get wrong, from Spring and Scissors, and to make things out of stuff that you've got, like papers and things that you've got uh, from op shops. I went straight in there and started putting gesso on everything, and to make places to write and I'm thinking oh dear I don't want to do that I do not like it I can't I couldn't get back to it because I don't like it so they reckon that if you go away from something you know <laughs> it might work out for you well see I've wrecked that bit because it's got a khaki blue green and I don't want that on there I don't want all my pages to be like that either I have got so much stuff that I have collected from the op shops and I really, really, really want to make a different sort of thing. <laughs> Even though I have done a bit of work in it, I'm not real keen on having all this on the background. I like that bit, and I'm not real keen on this. I've got so many bits and pieces and come up with so many ideas in my head, you know, that I think I'm going to have to fix that. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups now. That's not good. I made that one, and I don't know why... But I've just gone at it and just not not thought. I've actually made some embellishments for it. No, I don't think we're going to. Um, I've got actually I've got a couple more out there. I've made these little paper clip things and I've used the stuff that I've got from um, the thrift shops and off little clothes and things because I've got stacks of things like that. And I just wanted to make it a little bit more. I don't know, me style maybe. I did this and I'm not too disappointed in it. I don't know if you, I've showed you that or not. I'm not too disappointed in it. It's just a little, it's three pockets and I've cut out these little flowers and put, but this is more what I'd like to see in my journals, okay? And then see, because I've got all these papers here that you can write on, I don't think I want to have all that other, um, all these bits here. I'm, you know how, if you're not happy with something, and look at this, see I went crazy with the, with the brown vintage photo, and I think I've taken that way too far. <laughs> I tried to, and I've, I've actually put a pieces of old lace along it too that I got, and I really don't want to um, lose all them bits. I found all these really nice pictures in a, in a book. And I'm think, I was thinking about putting them in. These I've got made pockets in here. Look, look at that. And then they, and then I've got these beautiful ones here. But you know what? I don't really like them that much because I feel like they're too chunky for something that I would do. I mean, I'm trying to... I'm, I'm, you know how if we don't stick long sometimes with our own style, it's really hard to go off the, the page, isn't it, as far as I'm concerned? I can't do... I can't go off the page. So I've torn things up, you know, I just demolished it, I thought, oh dear, I don't want to do that anymore. This here, I do like, now. So now, I'm hoping, while you are here with me, because I might as well show you anyway what I'm doing, done to it, I'm hoping that I can put it back together in a way that I'm, I'm happy with it. Now see, that's not bad, Dad, because I really do like these pieces along here that are used for tucks, but there's a green patch there that I cannot get off. I tried to do a bit of colour and that went too far, didn't it, that bit? This here... See, I, I don't want to really lose these, so I'm thinking about turning that into a pocket in the book, but then I've got laces on that, so... Okay. Well, I suppose the best thing, I might just start by trying to fix this one. Because I'm not too disappointed in that. I think I need to... Um, fix this one too. That's going to have to have another piece on that side, isn't it? Uh, of something, you know, something nice that I can handle. <laughs> that I can feel like I'm comfortable with. The other bit of this. Um, most of the stuff that, well, 
half of the stuff that I have in here is from opportunity shops. It's got to be easy, you know, because, or, you know, maybe even more, because I find everything, everything, everything. The other day I was watching, I'll show you this, you know, because this is just a craft with me. This is Sonia sitting in the room on a Saturday morning. Um, I feel a little bit off, but I'm okay. I've been to the doctor now, found a new doctor. And I'm going to tell you about this, and I'm really pleased because she said to me, Sonia, you don't have to settle for what you like. She said, like, as far as I'm not breathing very good when I walk too far. And she said to me, your breath, breathing's not good. And I said, oh, it's all right. She said, how come you don't complain about these things, you know, because my legs are swollen because of what I've got wrong with them. And she, I said, because nobody listens to me. I said, I say to the people, the doctors, and they've never, ever listened to me. She said, well, they're not all like that, she said. So... She gave me this, this stuff that I have to have a morning so I can breathe, you know, like through the day, because so, I get a lot of um, nasal stuff wrong with me. Um, she gave me some uh, tablets so to help me, what are they, to get rid of some of the fluid. And I'm on antibiotics because I have been sick for a long time, but I just can't, they can't fix me because they kept giving me things that were I'm allergic to. So hopefully I'm right now. <laughs> I hope I'm going to be right. I feel a bit dopey. <laughs> That's just not me, anyway. But I'm going to be fine. But I, if I know myself when I've been taking antibiotics for a while, they start to get you a bit, don't they? <laughs> but anyway, I'm okay. I want to do this. So I'm going to try and fix it. Now, I probably lost my train of thought, so I wasn't on the train of thought there. That's right. I was going to show you what I got yesterday because I. I should not watch YouTube channels. I definitely should not watch YouTube channels. But I have to. I mean, I like to watch what people are doing. So I went to Vinnie's yesterday, and I was looking at the things because I wanted to get... these. Are, see, these are all things that I bought yesterday with all these amazing bitches and stuff in them. Some of them are really good and some of them are not so great. But in this one, I found that I really liked um, different pieces, you know. And, and these are sort of things that I could put in me in this book that I'm making. Now, I know that they're doing a challenge, but I'm not really actually in that part of the thing. I'm, I'm not putting myself into the challenge. I'm challenging myself to try and do it with you, okay? <laughs> and so I think um, Nat, uh, Natalie said it was only a week to go, but, and, and then this, so this morning when I got up, I thought, well, I'm try really keen to have a go at this and, and not muck it up because I wanted to think about it a bit more because I just went, you know, straight forward. I thought, oh, I'll just do this, just do this. And I never thought about all the stuff that I could actually use to put in here. Okay, so there is lots of rules too, but you can have, you know, anything that you get from the, um, what's that? Isn't this a beautiful, isn't this a beautiful piece of paper? It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm going to do, make some glue books because I love the idea of cutting things out. And this rabbit is absolutely gorgeous, and I don't mind if I'm going to actually use his head in something, that's fine. But look at the pages I've got, paper I've got here that I can put. Oh, look at the Barbie one, look at this. Now, I tore this out of a, a kid's book that I had. I got it, tore it out last night because I wanted to have a look and see what the piece was. And I've got to get rid of what I don't want, so the cover on that I don't want is too big. And look at it, isn't they beautiful? Now, you can't um, scan them because you get into trouble for that and reuse them, but you can actually use the pages, you know, so it's Peter Cottontail actually, here comes Peter Cottontail, and they're all really nice, look at these, aren't they beautiful, and see they're both sides, but if I made a glue book, I don't think I'd like to be covering him over, you know, you wouldn't want to cover him up with pictures, but you've got that one on that side, and half his face if it goes that way, <laughs> it just depends what you, what you feel like doing, I suppose, with them. But I thought they were really beautiful and I'm going to use some of the colours in the pages and even if I, um, well I don't have to use every one of them do I because there's lots of them. But where all that pretty colour is and this one here is really nice, I love the flowers. That's the, these things I thought oh dear I've got all these really nice things now and I want to do, I want to try again because I find that um, with me, I need to have a go at something first to see what, and as you know, <laughs> if you watch me, <laughs> I change my mind all the time. But that's just how it is, because 
I don't know what I'm gonna get, what's gonna come out when I start to make them. Now I got a whole heap of I got a whole heap. I got two, and I've seen this on um, uh, Diane H's channel. She is a magnificent. Book. She makes a wonderful books, and I got two um, calendars. Look, this one was from '97. And this one here was from 98. A lot of people don't like folk art. Well, I do. So I'm going to get this is the hard, this is the hard cover part, which would look absolutely gorgeous as a tags or things. I know they're not changed up or anything, but you could actually do something with them, you know, to turn them into what you want them to be. There's butterflies in there, and that one's got the most wonderful on it. Look at him. He's really nice. And then I have a horse one. So on these, I've, I've taken them out because I just undid the staples. And I've taken them out. Now look at that. Isn't that awesome? I really love that. That is beautiful, that picture. And, wait a minute. I missed one. Oh, these are how to do these. How to do them. <laughs> That's not my thing. I don't think I've managed that. don't really like that. It's a bit dark. But I can use the other side of the paper, can't I? And the poor little horse... I think he's okay. He just looks a bit different. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, somebody different sort of horse than what I've seen before. But anyway, so this is nice. This is pretty, isn't it? Really, really pretty pages. And I'm thinking I should probably start with this sort of thing because my um, I'm sorry about this. I'm itchy. My uh, my hairs in my face again. And these pieces go around here, so you could use them. You can also cut out your numbers on something, couldn't you? I've not tried that yet. I've got this heart punch, but I don't know if it'll go out. I suppose you cut the edge off, wouldn't you? And then try and get the heart in there, the, the number in there, and that might work, eh? Did you see what I was trying to do yet? <laughs> okay, so that's two big frogs. Nice little frog. This little frog's probably small enough to use. These are nice. This is beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a bit big, but it's a really beautiful piece. And what's on the other side? Let me see. Sorry. Oh, there's a ship. That's nice, isn't it? Okay. Cool. And then I've got this one here with the boot. I actually like the, the flowers, but I'm not a real fan of the boot. A lot of people might like the boot. And the flowers around the edge of this, like even that part there, you know, you could do it, put it into something this one really nice isn't it? so in a Christmassy one I suppose for some places it's Christmas not in Australia though no, that's, wait a minute, where is that is that a December that's a January well it's not um, definitely not cold here in January I don't know where, where this comes from I, I've seen the Thing, didn't I? And this one here for the sweet quizzes, Australian things, aren't they? So I don't know why they drew the, the, the wind one, but that's okay. That's nice. There's a bear. It's a bit torn. And pelicans. Nice edges. This one here is a nice one. A bit big. But you can take pieces off, you know, like any part. So if I wasn't going to use that bit, I'd probably use this side, you know, with the little, the little parts on it. Now, the, the, the thing I wouldn't do, and I hope I don't, you know, get into that, is I wouldn't use, um, only because of the way I am, is what I put down, I, I wouldn't use the same things all through, like, I'm, like I tried to do with this other one. Must have a drink of water. Sorry about that. Because when I say the same things, I mean the same sort of papers. I wouldn't use all all these sort of papers right through your book, you know? I'd be putting in a bit of each thing, or one or two. One or two, I meant. Or you could do three. If you had something, the ones that didn't really look that much alike. Now, I look, seen the price on this here yesterday, and I was very stunned about that. Where's it? Where's this here? This was, um, where are we? 97 Must $8. Dollars. 
for a calendar then. But I suppose it's folk art. But see, these flowers, aren't they pretty? I just love the way they do the flowers. I love the way they do that. Anyway, the flowers will be coming off. So, as I said, I wouldn't use, like, out of all this, so there would be a very minute part that I would put in the book because it's not something that I'm have a habit of doing. I don't use a whole lot of the same things in one book. I like to, you know, mix it, mix it all up and change it about and get a bit out of here and a bit out of there. Now, this, I'm, I bought two of these accidentally, but these have got really nice... Um, vintage pictures in it. I've already cut the other one out. Um, I don't know if I got any, took anything. I think I cut this bit out here because I thought that would look really nice on something. So if you were doing a vintage journal that um, they look really good. And all the black and white ones. Some of them might not be too bad. It just depends what the thing is that it's representing. Now I'm sure that when I seen Nat's book that Nat had last night, when she did her Friday night haul, this picture <laughs> was in one of them. I'm sure that picture was in one of them books. It's not the same as um, it says. It's the fifth print, Master Dip, Decoupage, see page 17. But that's, I'm sure that picture's in one of them books and I've got more of it, look. Because I suppose you, you cut them out and you put each one in and they're, they're nice. That's a nice one, isn't it? And then I got the ones that I was just showing you a minute ago. They must be in the, there's another dog one. These are the ones that I showed you before. These would make really good tags or tuck spots if you were doing a vintage thing. I may use those in what I've got here. Now... <laughs> Yesterday when I cut this out, I wasn't a big fan of this lady here. Might have been a couple that I eliminated, but I know I took out the birds, so I wanted them. I might have cut out this piece here. I cut out that triangle um, and just went and cut out the bits that I thought I could use and then you could put them in a, um, you know, put them down on a collage piece of paper or something. Now this one here, I don't think I've looked at this one much. I must turn it over so you can see. Some of these one didn't have anything really great in them, but I'm looking at uh, parts of the pages, you know, like, and even the words. These have got nice big words in there. Hair dryer holder. I don't know. So these were. I don't know when this one, how old this one is, but. You know, there's different bits and pieces that you can get out of these things. I know they charged me 50 cents from yesterday, and I was not happy about that. I think I, I'm a really disappointed with our vintage store. I really am because it's they've gone really silly. So I'm I'm looking forward to going next weekend up to the um, sale um, because they've got books up there. You get a big bag a big bag of books for three dollars. You can have as many as you like in the bag. They're not really strict on it at all. And, or a box for five dollars so I'm really excited about getting up there and getting some more because I've got so many in here that I've just been collecting up though just lately so I've got to go through them and just tick. take out the pictures I think I'm going to use one day there's not a lot in that that, that I like I don't mind that I'm not a very big fan of the black background but I mean even if you get a couple of ideas out of here cut out a few bits and pieces and use them in something it's worth it really to go and do that now this one here is actually from uh, it's been published um this lady is from parks was from parks she was a really nice lady and i think she i know she gave me a whole heap of stuff when she was moving away and it was a while back now she says she's lived here in dalton street in parks which was not that far from my place from three or four blocks away very lovely lady and this was done this book um i think a fair while ago because she was a lot older sorry about that but she was and she wasn't very well at all um but this has got some nice little birds in it but i'm thinking i don't want to cut that up because um 95 
I know she came an accredited teacher in ninety five because she did used to teach this down there at her at her place, um Rama did. So this was a fair while ago, wasn't it, eh? Ninety five, I it was only twenty something years, but I don't really think I wanted to take anything out of that. I wanna keep that I think. Because I didn't know until I got home and I started reading that that that's where that was from. And I've seen that one thing. Now here I've got a bird project book um, thing. Look at that. If I take the middle out of there, these are all stickers, but you can cut back the white bit. You don't have to have the white bit. I don't think there's any rules at all about that. Um, I've got a pair of pliers here that might get that out of there. I'll get around to making that, fixing up that book for myself later. Oh, well. You know, we're just doing a bit of, um, whatever. <laughs> Is that, it's only got one thing in it. That's pretty good. That's a good idea, only having one thing in it. I oh, know. Try and leave that on the table until I have to throw it. So I suppose you could even use that bit of card. Because it's a bit stiff, isn't it? That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't want to throw it away. Anyway. Well, I never did before, and when I learned about these, this junk journal thing, I thought, oh, I'd never have to throw away a thing again. <laughs> Actually, this has got all the birds on it, and, there's, and it's plain on the back. So that's cool. If I wanted to use I'll probably use those ones there. They're cool, aren't they? And the kookaburra, look at him. Oh, and the owl. Oh, look at that one there. Gee. Well, see, they're really nice. And you've got a... Um, a, a part on the back that's plain but then it's not very thick is it so then I've got a piece of a map of Australia here we go look at that there's Australia and I am somewhere out here I think yeah, there. I think that's where we are <laughs> I've got a bit of an idea I think um, so that's pretty cool isn't it so I live where there is that brown bit not in the eucalyptus forest, I don't think. Let me see, whereabouts would I be? I'd be here in this lighter brown. Seasonal grassland and mixed shrubs. Well, that's probably about right, I don't know. Near the desert. <laughs> I don't think I'm that close to the desert. I might be up a bit higher, actually. I'm not down here, this is Canberra, what am I doing? I'm up here somewhere. I oh, know. So that's where we live. I think I've shown you that many times, you don't really want to know. But um, if you want to come and visit me, please let me know and I'll just meet you at the coffee shop or something. <laughs> don't, don't, don't anybody rock at my door or it scares me. I'm, I'm very social when you do, people do that, but anyway. Okay, so this one here is... Um, which one do I look... This is probably like where we are here. We don't have a lot of this. We haven't got quite that. Definitely not in the wetlands, so it must be bushlands. That's where we live, part of Australia. Mm. Yes, not always that colour though, so that's a good thing. Right, another piece. Oh, it's a lot more. Look at this. This is all about the birds in Australia. This is really nice, isn't it? Nat, this is what you wanted, isn't it? <laughs> this sort of thing for yours. Okay, because you're doing a nice bird one. <clears throat> and the stickers. They're cool too. Right. I don't know if you know actually watch that, but anyway. So they're nice, aren't they? I can just cut around the fussy cut the bird if I wanted to do that. So I can have him for that reason. And if I put him back in there, hopefully, I'll be able to find him one day and I go to use them. And this is a really old craft book, but these have got good um, card on them, like, these are good to buy for the card bit on the back, you know, that's what I, I want them for, the pieces on the back, I'll probably use that bit there, this page here, because it's a sewing theme one, I'm going to take the, so this is just me playing around at the table now, isn't it really, sorry about that, but this is what I'll do, and, and if I, and if you weren't here, this is what I'd be doing, and then maybe I'll do a video or a tutorial or something. 
actually I might just keep going and this can go until it <clears throat> till we get a couple of videos out of it and then we'll come and make into two be part one and part two and that'll save me turn it off because I'm not going to be doing any, anything different to what I'm doing now fixing this to go to fix the other thing now I'm going to put these little staples in this bin with the one that I had before so I don't have to stand on that I put it down in my bin no it won't be good okay now this is a collage like people did once it's all different now aren't they and I don't know I've seen this picture very many 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 times I have the picture and they've done it with um, fabric and little flowers and all that sort of thing on there I like the yellow but well not that much so I could probably use a bit of something like that I've got this one. This is nice. I like that part there. Not a big fan of the rest of it. Um, might look alright in. I was, I'm doing. I wanted to do foliage and something, flowers or something like that in my in the one that I'm making for. Um, so you could use this here too in your sewing one. Right. So I could. I'm actually making a sewing journal at the moment, as you know. And I'm really pleased with how it's working out so far. So this is embroidery stitches, and I'm going to cut this out with this giant pair of scissors that I don't use a lot because they are large. But they do cut down a fair way, don't they? So <laughs> and then I'm going to turn this into something, don't I? That's it. And then you've got a word here that says embroidery. And stitch it, got some words, look, need some words. That's probably not one bit straight, show me, look. Uh, I've got embroidery here I can use. I think my word box is out in another room, but I think I've got a few now because <laughs> I, I I'm doing things in both rooms, so it's making me, this said here, lesson one, well, I'm not really going to keep that but I can keep the words that say flower and I'll keep it on there where it is and motives from sample stitches and stitches so I've got a couple of words there that I can put in the thing when I go to do it and I don't lose them And I might even take this bit off here, although I'm not real partial to really dark colours. But that'd be alright for me to cut that out, cut out a kangaroo or something, wouldn't it? <laughs> With my dies. Right? Wouldn't be a good. That'd be good. Cut that out with my dies. Okay, so I don't think I want the rest of that, so that can go in the garbage. So I've got that bit with the... Uh, there's a bit of smocking on here, but... It's not something that I think I'm going to be putting in my book. I like that, but I'm not going to use it. <coughs> um, there's lots of words and still, still in here, and that'll have to be for a day when I feel like cutting it out, or you know. And then I've got the, this card for the backs of things if you want it, if I want to use that for something, haven't I? So that was pretty cool. So I didn't have a bad day on getting some goodies, did I? I actually got an apron that's made out of some really cool material. It's not in here now with me. It is made out of some really cool material that make, and it's brand new. Somebody made it and put it in there because people do that sort of thing. But if I buy it, it's, for, it's good. It'll go for a good cause. Um, so I'm going to cover that, a book with that, I think. Right, now, back to this. We went way off the track didn't we and I've also I also clicked up these as well these pages that are in um, other decoupage books and look at the pretty pictures on there I do like all these ones along the bottom here I'm gonna click that I'm gonna have those I have those because I don't the poor, little, poor little horse is gonna get his feet chopped off but I can't help that because these will make good little tickets won't they to put in things and then I've got butterflies 
all the birds, I've got enough birds, birds and birds and birds I have, so I'm going to cut these butterflies out. This is nice, I like these. I'm still going to have to use my music paper. Still going to have to use a lot of things that I, you know, in the text paper because you, you get all that out of these books, don't you? So I want to use them. I go to there. What have I left in the back? Poor horse. Okay. Now, so these are thick, and this one here, these I got out of a big um, flower book. I don't know if it's the one that smelled funky, but one did. I don't know, a really good funky smell. <laughs> but that's okay. You cut it up and put it amongst different things, and the smell will go away from it eventually, I suppose. So, these are the sort of things, I suppose, that I like to use in, in, in what I'm doing here. Um, and what else did I have here that I've got? Uh, the other day when I was in here doing this, I was trying to find I've got pages here. But I poked holes through accidentally, didn't I, when I was putting that thing in that. I did poke holes through accidentally. Um, there's a nice one. So these are all out of magazines. Um, that I've bought second hand, even these mushrooms, oh no that one's not been printed, I can see the back of it and these ones here, nice, nice pictures, really nice pictures so I will be having a go at um, working with something else you know, I'm trying to fix this, I'll fix this one that I've done that I'm not really pleased with Somehow, I can use that for paper. Right. Now, <coughs> I've actually put um, that in there, and that. I put the back in there, the piece of cardboard inside there, and I've put my tape on it, because this is what I'm going to put it into. Um, it's got the cardstock in there, fairly thick. It's really thick, actually. So. I've decided that I'm going to do a hidden hinge in this one and I might even cover the book here with you now today because I want to um, get a bit further along with this because I was working on this this morning and I really want to do a, a little bit more on it. I'm not sitting very comfortable in my chair for some reason but I'm not going to be worried about <laughs> not trying to re position myself just for the time being because I wanted to work on this now I do I think I want to put this so I'm going to do a hidden hinge so I'm going to cover the the journal right now in the inside here I wanted to put some paper so that's good on the outside I'm going to put some fabric actually there will be probably fabric on the inside now this is stuff that I bought at the second hand places I don't know this is part of a little top now I'm looking at this as maybe a spine piece. I don't know because it's the pictures are of can't really tell. I don't know if you can see what they stretch it out. It's pussycats. Is it pussycat? No. So I'm thinking I would have liked that as a spine, but I think it might be too. Oh no, it isn't. It is not too wide, is it? No, because by the time you go around there. I wonder if it'll come undone though if I cut it. Because you've got this piece that goes around the arm part. Okay. That'll be different, won't it? I wonder would that work if I put that back down there. I wonder if it'll come undone. I'll probably find that out the hard way, won't I? I was going to put the white in this. I think I might go with that today because I... I hadn't made the decision, so when I got this it was just strips and some really nice linen. And I wanted to put that down the back. And then I'm gonna well I'm gonna put this on the front. I tore that bit because I wanted to I also have this piece here that's a bit thicker, but I don't think I'll tear that. That's off a um um serviette thing. <coughs> no, no. Now, do I wanna put this down? Because this is a really nice piece of old vintage fabric. You can see through it. 
I don't know if I worry, I'm going to worry about that. Let me see. Does it matter if you can see through it? What can you see? Not a lot. Now I put that on there and this over or the other way. I don't know if I like the colour. That's a bit khaki. Looks <laughs> a bit khaki, doesn't it? Okay. Still maybe two thicknesses. I just liked it because it was nice pale, a nice pale thing that wasn't too in your face, you know. <laughs> I just thought it'd go good with what I'm doing. What do you think about that now? And then this. I'm sure I can manage to put something on it too to make it a bit more stylish. I'm not very good at these covers. I find myself not very good at these covers. Well, so this come already cut to size, so I can go there like that. But I want it out over the top, don't I? I don't want it to be hidden. Okay. Where's this other piece of stuff laid? <coughs> Make a decision, Sonia. I don't know if I can. <laughs> it's not working for me at all today. Okay, so I could put that there and have this on the back. And that doesn't look any good either, does it? Where's the edge of this? I'm going to cut that and see if it falls apart. <laughs> Might as well. I don't want to be... It's not very good for cutting the material, I don't think. Let's see how we go. The fans there purring away. Well, that's not straight one bit. Cut this off. <laughs> Come off there. Right. Now let's see what's going to happen if I try to do this. I don't know. I see something strange looking or different from the rest of the things. And I think oh, I should probably use that. Have a go with that or try something with that. <laughs> That'd be good for something. Not this. No. That's not working for me one bit whatsoever. And then I have this piece here, that's a piece of furniture thing, furniture fabric that I've got. And it is very dark, but maybe I can put something on the back of that to calm that down a bit. Don't know if that'd work. Where are you? I could put lace over the whole thing. I might do that. I'm going to use this, okay, for the back of it. Now I've got all that stuff out there that I was trying not to <clears throat> lose. Now I'm going to put these in, in sections, I think, because I don't want the, um, I don't know if I want it to go around the, around the back. Yeah, why not? Do that. Do it right, right around, around, Sonia. That's the inside. You don't want that bit? Do this one. This way. Okay. Now I've got some pink and scissors, so I'm going to stick this down here first because look, it's all good. Yeah, look at that. Or am I? Yes. And then I'll put, then I'll cut it off with the scissors. I will. Here we go. Let's see if this works for us, eh? I'll see if this works. Now wait a minute. I'm going to have to get it back to you what I wanted to use. Which one going to be in? Which part? There. Is that right? Yes, because it will fit. And go around the corner. No, it's not working. And we'll go over the corners. And that looks nice. And there's that bit there. And that there. So we're going that way. Right. Maybe I should cut it first. It might be really hard to do while it's on there. Oh, no, I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm going to see if I can do this. So I'm going to put glue on this spine bit because this is going to be a invisible um, signature things you know I'm 
whatever they call it. Uh, it's all right, Sonia. I'll figure it out later. Nobody panic. I'll figure it out <laughs> what I'm supposed to be doing. Now, if I've got that there. <clears throat> So you're going to make sure that you bring that up at the sides because otherwise if you do this with this flat it won't close properly for you. Some parts coming over the top here but not so bad, not too bad. You need it to be straight, <coughs> definitely need it straight. <coughs> That's not bad. I don't know. So I'm going to put glue along this bit. Uh, where I got that piece of stuff from. Anywhere in the room it would be. I don't know. So we've got a bit of everything in here. A bit of show and tell. A bit of pulling stuff apart. Putting stuff back together. Don't come out, will you? Glue that. <laughs> Make it really hard for me. Make it hard, you know. See, the, the thing with this is I could have left it like it is, but I don't know how I would decorate it. I just don't like starting with a already done thing. I'm not, <laughs> I like to be have a blank canvas when I'm doing something. Well, pretty, pretty plain anyway. This is, I know this thing I'm putting on here is not blank, but it's, um, so when you do that part, you need to make sure that this, the, the back of it's, <sighs> You've got this part here and you want to make sure that you've got that tight enough and not too tight so it'll just go over like that you know I'm explaining this really well I can tell <clears throat> and look at this and so I talk to myself all the time when I'm doing something you'd think I'd be able to tell you what I was doing wouldn't you oh dear so I'm going to cut this along here now is that right? Yes. But see, this might be a little bit, something's off, because that tape might not be straight along there. I don't know. I'm hoping when I put this on that it works properly for me. Glue. Put the glue on, Sonia. I'm raising a lot of glue, not too much. Go right to the edges, because you're going to have just, I'm not folding it over, I don't think, am I? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't think I want to, I just want it to be flat onto the top of this. This is this journal has got no particular anything about it yet, <laughs> or maybe never will have. When I say that, it's, it's no style or <laughs> no style, right, probably. No style or anything. It's just can't say it's vintage, can't say it's junk. Right. How's that look? Doesn't look too bad, does it? Probably seen made a, made a worse job of things before. I'll make sure I've got all the bubbly bits out. So we've got this here that's bending really nicely. Okay, now I need them pinking things, don't I? And they're here somewhere. I had another day. <clears throat> Just give me two seconds while I have a glass of water. A mouthful. Pinking shears are just the thing. Now, I hope I can cut it. I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing. I'm coming this way though. Watch out. Here I come. <laughs> I hope so. I hope this does this right. You can hear it rattling on the table, eh? I know maybe a lot of people think you should measure it and put this on, but I just can't do that. I get sick of having to cut it and then keep cutting it and cutting it until I've got nothing left. That's me. Right, oh, look at that. That worked. I do like how that looks, doesn't it? See, that's a bit frilly there. That doesn't matter. And this is nice and cut. Done well. Done well. Well done, Tony. And up here we go. And I guess the teeth on the scissors, if they're just coming along the edge of the book, it's just working really nicely. And as you go, you've got to make sure you get your little grooves in the right place. Look at that. It looks a bit over there. It doesn't matter. It's it's a junk journal, Sonia. <laughs> it is actually a junk journal because it's made out of bits, isn't it? I hope it's all right when I finish cutting out that I haven't moved something over too far or 
done something scary. Look at that. I think it's right. You know, I do think it's right. A little bit of a bubble there. I think a little bit of a bubble. I need that off there. I suppose by the time I do something else with it, it might be fine. It should, it should be all right. We won't be worrying too much now. Right. So now I'm going to put... Um, well, I'm going to have to wait now until I decide... Because I want to put some paper, I think, in this. Or I might put this down the centre. And then I'm going to have my signature sitting in there. Okay? So if I cut that about that far over because then you've got it'll all bend you know because if you're doing the um the paper the paper seems to sort of it doesn't actually crack but it this has got a, a good sturdy spine on it isn't it it's gonna have a good sturdy spine this bloke hang on a minute that's a bit of the sticky look of the thing that was there before okay we won't, don't want that do we you want to be careful you know how they have a piece of paper stuck to it with its name and that? Oh, I can feel it's just there. So I don't want that bit. I'm going to cut this off here first, this paper piece. I'll cut this off first. And I'm sorry I don't have the paper pages fini finished to show you how you're going to put them in, but I'm only going to do, I'm going to do a few small signatures, you know, because I want to... Uh, where's that damn sticky thing? Okay, so we need to have, that's cut there nice. How far does that go over there? That far and that far, so it's this part here. We need to make a little mark on the back of it. There. And we're measuring, we're measuring, and we're going to put it on the back because, uh, is it too far, is it? No, that's all right. I'll have to do it on the back here because you want to, um, make a line now make a line nice straight ones on it be good we draw on the back of the piece of fabric just making sure that's straight I hope it is should have probably measured that in from there I'm gonna do that you know because my measuring's crappy Okay, so it's three and a quarter. No, three and a quarter. Yes, three and a quarter. Three and a quarter in there. Now, hopefully this will line up. It doesn't look straight to me. Does it look straight to you? Oh, dear, oh, dear. I don't know what's wrong with my eyesight. <laughs> well, it's not straight, is it? I don't know what I should do. I should use a thing underneath here, but I'm, if I think I can eyeball it straight, I'm going to. If I think I can, at any rate. Right. And then go across here. Well, it doesn't have to be scientifically <laughs> proved or anything, so I'm sure I'll be fine. right down to the right thing here. I know, hopefully this is what we want. This is not the sticky side, is it? Which bit was I supposed to be putting on there, this piece? Now where's the book? Right. <laughs> That's supposed to be going in here, Sonia. Rightio. That looks a little bit different to colour, but that's okay. It's not to worry. That can go in there. Very good, yes. Well, I see I'm getting this done and that's good because I want to um, make sure that I've got it all organised before I start anything more with it. I might have to put the glue on this piece of material to make sure that I cover the whole thing properly. I'm getting really low on battery here too because I didn't have it fully charged. So if we have, we have an abrupt, abrupt uh, ending, I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to make as much of this as I could and now I'm very disappointed because there's nothing worse than when you want to do something and you haven't got your battery organized to do this but I will try very hard to come back and do some more tomorrow because I really want to 
take, I don't know how long it takes to charge, but by the time it is, I'll probably be too tired to sit here and do this because I've been I'm hopefully going to be making some um, bits and pieces and fixing up some more pages. Putting in some different pages just because I want to. And, you know, I just want to make it um, a bit different to the norm. To what I was doing, I should say. A bit different to what I was doing. Okay, so now I'm going to turn that up and increase it, so I'll push it up a bit.